Welcome to the third episode of the Craft Studio Show. I'm so excited you guys are here. We have a great show planned for you. Just in case you don't know me yet, but hopefully you've been following along with us, I'm Lindsay, the chief party girl and owner at the Craft Studio, and we're so excited to be here with you all. And of course, I brought my friends along to say hi. Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Hey, Nicole. Hi. Hey, Blake. Hey. How you doing, Greg? I'm good, how are you? Awesome, I'm good. And hey, Noreen. Hey there. Hi, so good to see you all. So since we're talking about secondary colors, I thought it would be fun if this time you guys show us your favorite secondary colored object you have. And I, I don't know, I'm on a Beanie Baby tear, guys. I just love my orange Beanie Baby fish. How cute is he? I don't know his name, but I'm gonna call him Orange Marmalade. <laughs> I know you, right? <laughs> Thanks. All right, Blake, let's see what you got. My little alien buddy. I've got about 10 of these uh, just around my apartment. I wish you brought all 10. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Blake. All right, let's see what you got, Noreen. I also have a green thing because green is my favorite color. And it's this amazing little turtle I painted at the craft studio and I love it so much. I think I remember when you painted that little guy. You did good <laughs> and it looks just as good as that day cutie mm -hmm. uh, all right greg what did you bring i also brought something green i brought a plan or many plans oh. i guess and they're my favorite and i love them so much oh uh, i love always getting a glimpse of your beautiful plants <laughs> so awesome it would be weird if you brought something else besides a green plant if we're talking I know. about secondary colors exactly and last but certainly not least nicole show us what you got I brought my purple yoga mat because purple is my favorite color and I love doing yoga at home. Amazing. Now is a good time to do lots and lots of yoga. I bet that mat is getting some good use. You know it. Awesome. So much fun. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you all a bit later. Bye. Bye. That's so fun. Thank you so much, guys. You'll see all of my friends a little bit later. But first, let's get this show on the road. Who's excited for a show all about? Drum roll, please secondary colors. I love the secondary colors and let's kick it off with Noreen with Art of Facts. Hi everyone, it's Noreen with today's Art of Facts. Last time we talked about primary colors or superhero colors. Those are yellow, red, and blue. Today we're going to be talking about secondary colors and complementary colors. Secondary colors are the ones that we made by mixing two primary colors together. Let's review from last time how to make them. When you mix yellow and red, you make orange. When you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And when you mix red and blue, you get purple. That's right, the secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. Now, when you put primary colors and secondary colors next to each other, you get the rainbow. You guys remember Mr. Boy you did, right? Awesome. There are some primary and secondary colors that look really great next to each other. And they give each other a high five. These are called complementary colors. These pairs are blue and orange, yellow and purple, and green and red. These colors look so awesome next to each other and are super vibrant and fun. But when these complementary colors are mixed together, they cancel each other out and they make like a gray or a brown. So while they give each other a high five and compliment one another, they don't remix it up. So, now we have an entire color squad. We have Mr. Rojibim, we have primary superhero colors, and we have complementary sidekick colors. Got all of that? I'll be back later to give you some art trivia just in case. Bye for now. Wow, Noreen, our entire color squad is complete. We have a rainbow of rock star sidekicks. How cool is that? It all started with Mr. Roy G. Biv, who helped us learn the order of the colors in the rainbow. Then we got our superhero squad of primary colors who mixed all together to make the secondary color sidekicks. 
So fun. Thanks, Noreen. After all those awesome art facts, though, it's about time for some laughs. And how about laughs from the silliest person I know? That's Blake. All right, Blake, take it away. Hey, everyone. Blake here, back with some more jokes. I don't know what you've heard, but my primary choice of color is blue. However, sometimes I'll wear green because it's complimentary to my eyes. Why does purple go with orange instead of red? Because orange is much more complimentary. Calling all class clouds, jokesters, and pranksters, and goofs. I need your help. Listen, maybe sometimes you hear my jokes and you think, huh, that's, that's okay, that's pretty good but I could do better. Feel free, send us the jokes you think should be featured on the Craft Studio Show. I'm all alone up here. Give me your hand. Blake, how can you keep making me laugh and getting me all giggly like you do? Such a silly guy. All right guys, it's time for another awesome segment. You know him, he's such a cool dude. It's Games with Greg. Hey everyone, I'm Greg and welcome back to another drawing guessing game. If you're new to the show or don't remember the rules, I'll explain how it works. I'm going to draw a picture, however, you're not going to see what I'm drawing. Instead, I'm going to explain how I'm drawing my picture. Then at the end, we'll turn our papers over to see if we ended up drawing the same thing. Sound fun? Perfect. For this episode, we are using all of the colors of the rainbow. That's right, we are gonna be using our superhero primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and our secondary sidekicks, orange, green, and purple, to make up the entire rainbow. That's right, Mr. Roy G. Biv. So you'll need these markers, I'm gonna put those to the side, as well as a black or brown marker, or color pencil or crayons, whatever you're using, and you will need a piece of paper, and again, I'm gonna be holding mine horizontally this time. Are we ready to get started? Oh yeah. So the very first thing we're gonna do is use the first color of the rainbow. Does anybody know what that is? Red. Perfect. So I'm gonna take my top off and now we are ready to go. So I'm again holding my paper horizontally. I'm gonna draw the very first part of our picture, which is a red circle. And they should be the size of like a golf ball. So I'm gonna draw that on this side of my paper. So I'm gonna do one circle, perfect. And now I'm gonna put that away and grab the next color of the rainbow, which is orange. And now I'm gonna draw an orange circle next to the red circle. But they're gonna be connecting almost like a chain or if I were to take a snow person and put it on its side, like they're stacked next to each other. So now I'm gonna draw an orange circle next to that one. Again, about the same size, and it doesn't need to be perfect. The next color of the rainbow, yellow. And now we're gonna add another circle next to the orange one, the same way we did the one before it. And now we're gonna get our next color, which is green, my favorite color today. And add a circle next to that one. And all my circles are kind of being different sizes and they're not all perfect, so don't worry. And then the very next color, blue. And again, another circle next to that one. Ooh, that one was much smaller than the one before. And then the very last one is purple. And I'm gonna add the end circle there. Perfect. And now I should have one, two, three, four, five, six circles, each a color of the rainbow next to each other in a chain. Now I'm gonna grab my black or if you're using brown marker. And in the very first circle, the red circle, I'm gonna draw two eyes. One, two, and then I'm gonna give it a little smile. So one smile. And the next thing is I'm gonna add two things sticking out at the top of the red circle. And they can be curly cues. I'm gonna spiral mine. And two. Do you have a feeling you might know what my picture is? Maybe. 
And now the very last thing is we're gonna draw a bunch of little letter L's, capital letter L's, at the bottom of each circle. Maybe like two or three on the bottom of each circle. So a bunch of L's. I'm doing two on each circle. Perfect. And I think our friend needs one more thing. I'm gonna grab the green and I'm gonna give it some grass on the bottom. And I'm just doing like a zigzag, spiral, it doesn't have to be perfect. Awesome. All right, so I have our colors in the rainbow order and some grass on the bottom and all of our little details that we added in black. Are we ready to see if we ended up drawing the same thing? One, two, three, a rainbow caterpillar with some grass that it can nibble on to grow into a beautiful butterfly. And it's even in rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. How cool! If you ended up drawing a rainbow caterpillar too, send it our way. We would love to see your drawing. All oh, my friends, it looks like our time is over, but I had so much fun playing this game and can't wait to see you in our next episode to play a whole new game. Bye everyone! Love seeing you, so much fun. All right, so if you have a budding artist at home that might wanna be featured as our kid of the week, we would love to see them. Slide into our DMs at craftstudionyc.com or shoot us off an email, info at craftstudionyc.com. And with that email or DM, have a video attached of your budding artist saying their name, their age, their favorite color, their favorite artist medium, and have them explain a work of art that they made. We would love for them to be featured on our show. All right, I'm ready for some tunes. How about a beautiful song from one of our favorite friends, Kelly? Take it away, Kelly. Hi everyone, I have a special song to sing with you today. It's called the ABCs. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. You can even make your own music just like I did. Let's try it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Kelly, you really know how to rock it, girl. Love that jam from you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, it's time for my personal favorite segment. Who's ready to get a little bit crafty? I'm gonna change into my crafting clothes and let's get ready to do a craft all about primary and secondary colors. All right, crafters. So since today is all about secondary colors, we are gonna make an amazing secondary color color wheel, but we're gonna turn it into like a balloon bouquet too. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, you just need a few things. Everybody should have a pair of scissors and if you are little, make sure you have a grown up using scissors with you. I'm looking at you guys. Glue, Ooh, and I dropped my glue, or a glue stick, a blank white piece of paper, some markers, and it doesn't matter what color because they're just for our strings of our balloons, and rainbow colored paper, construction paper, or if you don't have colored paper, you can color strips, which is awesome, and then you've made your own pieces of rainbow paper. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make sure we have them in rainbow order, which let's do it as Mr. Roy G. Biv has taught us, red, Orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So we're gonna line them up and stack them so they're all together nice and even. And you might have to trim them with your scissors to make sure they're all the same size because it'll make for easier crafting. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold them all in half. Might, you might need some muscles to fold such a big stack of so many rainbow colors. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna draw half of a circle. Boop. And remember, there are no mistakes in art and perfect is boring. So who knows, my circle might turn out like an oval, I don't know. This is what it looks like now. And then, with your grown-up's help, 
or if you're an older crafter, you can just go for it. This part is kind of tricky. You're gonna cut out your circles. Boop. And when you open them up, you have all the same size rainbow colored circles, which is so awesome. Now we're gonna get our glue and our white paper and we're gonna glue them on in rainbow order so we can find out which colors are the complementary colors that high five each other. All right, so let's see. First, I'm gonna get my glue and on the back of my red, I'm gonna glue my red to the paper. And I'm gonna try and make my circle of the rainbow balloons up towards the top of the page. That way we have room for the strings on the bottom. Next is orange. And I like it if it pops off the page a little bit so I don't put glue everywhere because I kind of like if the edges are kind of popping it off. It makes it look my art is coming alive and it's like a 3D work of art. Next is yellow. Yellow reminds me of the sun. You guys know that I say that all the time. I just love yellow. And next is green. And we're starting to see our first pair of complementary colors. Green and red are across each other on my page. All right, after green comes blue. Oh, and I see blue and orange are high-fiving another pair of complementary colors and last but certainly not least is purple all right so now we have this awesome complementary color color wheel where we can see which colors high five each other and look really cool and give each other a high five next to each other but if they mixed they would turn gray and cancel each other out so it's such a good reminder for example green and red high five each other Purple and yellow are across from each other and high five each other. And orange and blue are across from each other and high five each other. And we have this perfect complementary color wheel to remind us of our complementary colors. But let's take it even further, crafters. Let's grab our markers and let's draw a string, either a curly string or maybe some strings are straight, maybe some strings are wavy, however you want to do your strings. And then you turn them a beautiful complimentary color balloon bouquet. Such a fun craft. And you can turn this into a card or just a work of art you hang on your wall. Awesome job today. Thanks for crafting and helping to remember your complimentary colors, which are made up of primary and secondary colors. Yay, crafters! This is Ruby. Ruby loves to run in the grass. Her happy dance is when she swivels on the floor on her back. Watch these cool tricks she can do. Lay down. Good lay down. Roll over. Good girl. Good girl. Now sit. I just love that, Ruby. She is the cutest. So sweet. Thanks so much for sharing her with us, Ash. Oh, love those pets. If you have a pet that you want to have featured on our show as the pet of the week, slide into our DMs at Craft Studio NYC or shoot us an email, info at craftstudionyc.com with a video and some pictures and some fun facts about your pet. We'd love to have them on the show. All right, I think we go back to Noreen and we test our knowledge on those secondary colors. I think it's time for some art of facts trivia. Hi friends, I'm back. Let's see if you remember some facts from before. What do we call it when two colors look really great next to each other and give each other a high five, but don't mix very well and make a little bit like brown or gray when you try and mix them together? Is it A, complementary colors? Is it B, compatible colors? Or is it C, supplementary colors? It is A, complementary colors. Awesome. I will see you next time. Ooh, that was a hard one. Did you get it right? Oh, friends, I've had so much fun with you on the show today. How cool was it to learn about all the colors in the rainbow? We now know about primary colors, secondary colors, complementary colors that give each other a high five. Oh, so fun. All right, guys, it's almost time for us to leave, sadly, as I wish I could spend all day every day with you talking about art. But before we go, 
It would not be a craft studio show or really anything craft studio without a dance party. I've invited my friend Nicole back. She's gonna teach us some moves and we'll have a giant dance party. Take it away, Nicole. Hi everyone. I'm so excited to teach you some dance moves today. We're gonna be making up a move for each color of the rainbow. And if you saw last week's episode, you might've learned some from our primary colors. So we're gonna start with the first color of the rainbow, which is red. So for red, we're gonna bring back our move from last week. We're gonna make our heartbeat. So we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna go out, in, out, in. Our next color of the rainbow is orange. So orange, I think of one of my favorite sports, basketball. So we're gonna shoot a basket. So everyone grab your imaginary basketball. You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna shoot it into the net. Looking good, everyone. Okay, our next color of the rainbow is yellow. We learned this move last week in our primary color dance. So we're gonna take our arms up and we're gonna bring them down just like a big sun. Good work. Now our next color is green. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bounce for green and we're gonna bounce twice. So we're gonna go ahead and go bounce, bounce. Good job. Okay, do you think we can piece all four of those moves together with some counts? Let's see if we can try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looking really good, everyone. Okay, we have two more dance moves to learn. Our next color is blue. Did you guess that one? Okay, for blue, we're gonna make a wave. We learned this move before too. So we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna make a wave side to side. And then purple is our last move that we're gonna learn. And purple also makes me feel kind of calm like blue. So we're gonna just sway our arms side to side, kind of make big swirls for purple. Okay, let's see if we can piece all of those moves together from the top with counts. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great work. Now let's try that with some music. show we'd love to have you send us videos and pictures of you crafting with us dancing with us and just maybe you will be featured also check out all we have to offer some kits virtual summer camps classes at our website www.craftstudionyc.com check out our instagram at craft studio nyc for daily craft videos and so much more. We love being here for you in this time and we can't wait to have more fun with you. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, crafters.